Kamusta po kayo? Today is our fourth day of our daily devotions. Today, uh, nasa week 35 pa rin po tayo. And today, we'll be hearing from someone uh, from Albania. Again, hindi binigay ang pangalan niya for security reasons. And we'll be reflecting on James 2.26. And the title of today's devotion is Faith Works in Dead Bodies. Very catchy, na? Sai pong ganun dito, James 2.26 For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. Have you ever seen a dead body? Because the soul has departed, the body is lifeless, unable to rise or do the things that it used to do. Without the soul, the body is purposeless, destined to decompose and be destroyed. In this verse, James tells us that such is faith without works. In other, in other words, this kind of quote-unquote faith, faith that produces no fruit, is like a dead body, lifeless and decomposing, suitable only for disposal and destruction. Ang ganda ng imagery. Kung paano ang patay na tao, ang, ang, ang katawan na walang buhay, ay hindi pwedeng gumalaw, kumilos at whatever. Ang para ng patay o ang claim na para ng patay na walang paggawa o walang bunga, walang uh, manifestation ay just proof na patay nga ang para ng patay ito. It is utterly useless. A person who claims to have faith but has no accompany, accompanying works is a walking contradiction, like a moving corpse. He is still spiritually dead in his faith, Therefore, is no, of no value. Since it leaves him lifeless, it will not save him. And, and we need to take this seriously, friends. If we profess to be believers, yet um, it does not bear any fruit. First of all, fruit of repentance, uh, fruit of um, doing good works of course we're not saved by good works but we are saved for good works diba you're saved by grace through faith in christ it's not from your from your own doing lest you would boast it's a gift of if it's a gift of god diba we are god's workmanship prepared beforehand for good works diba Works cannot save sinners. Works are not a condition for salvation. But works are a demonstration of true faith. Just as, a mo just as movement and intelligent, and intelligent action reveal that a body is alive, so works reveal that a person's faith is living. Tanda natin yun. If we claim to be believers, yet we do not show any good works, show any fruit, then post tayo sandali, baka hindi tayo totoong ligtas. We may not be believers kasi ang salvation, mga kapatid, is a glorious, glorious event that happened to you in spite of you. God gave you life, gave you faith, gave you a new disposition therefore dapat magmanifest yan. It's supernatural. It came from God who is omnipotent. Right? The one who created the universe is the one who gave you the new birth. Therefore, kung hindi makita yan sa buhay mo, baka hindi ka ligtas. Right? Kasi it would reveal the truth about our profession if we have these certain actions, these certain convictions. Diba? Good works are prepared beforehand by God for believers to walk in. Okay, sinabi ko kanina. They are the inevitable fruit of a saving faith and will manifest in every believer's life. It is good and right to strive for good works. We don't do this to earn God's favor, but in response to it. So make every effort to supplement your faith with good works today. For they assure your heart that your faith is alive and keep you from being an ineffective an, an ineffective servant of Christ Jesus. So, kamusta ang inyong buhay? Those who claim to be saved, 
How is your life? Can, can good works be seen in, 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 in your lives? Hindi lang good works dun sa mga gusto mong gawa ng good works, okay? The Bible is replete. The Bible is clear. Na kung gagawa lang tayo mabuti sa mga bagay na tingin natin pwedeng may gawin din sa atin mabuti sa, sa future, then that's an investment. That is not conviction. That is not uh, uh, regeneration. So, let's, let's be assessing ourselves. Let, let us examine our lives. If we claim who we claim to be, then that should be followed by acts of uh, righteousness, acts of good works, right? So, good works does not save, but good works shows us that we are indeed saved. Diba? So, I hope um, we were reminded of this great truth. Alam na natin ito eh. Pero masarap pa rin paalahan tayo ng Panginoon Diyos. Diba? So, let's pray. Let's pray. Masalamat tayo sa ating Panginoon Diyos. Lord, we thank you for reminding us of this truth that indeed faith without works is dead in as much as movement and uh, activity na wala sa isang um, katawan would would prove that that person is dead ganun din po ang isang um, profession or ang isang pagsasabi at ang claim na believer kami without any manifestation of good works would just prove that we were not and we are not saved to begin with. Dalangin namin, Panginoon Diyos, kami na mananampaltaya ay patuloy niyo pong himukin at udyukan na gumawa na mabuti para po sa kapurihan ninyo. And to those who claim to be believers yet does not manifest any good works may by your grace, um, um, may they examine themselves. And if their profession is said to be unreal and not true, may they repent of it, Lord, at uh, suma- sumandigan sa pangako ninyo na sino man pong lalapit sa inyo ay hindi papa itataboy at inyo pong ililigtas. We continue to thank you, Lord, for today. We pray that you would uh, bless every one of us um, as we go about our day, to those who would be traveling, to those who would be working, to those who would be staying home, do chores, we pray that whatever we do, we would do it for your glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you and mag-iingat kayo lagi. Um, Yeah. Ingat kayo. Bye.